Well, while I've got my engine out, uh, one of the things I want to do is actually replace my power steering pump and pulley. Uh, this is a brand new unit from turn one. And uh, the reason I went with this is that it's actually built for racing. It's got some improved internals, pressure regulation and things like that. Um, it runs cooler, which is actually generally good for the, uh, for the power steering itself, just helps things last a little bit longer. And lastly, it's just a lot easier to work on uh, because it's got holes in the pulley. I can actually get to the bolts that hold this thing on. Uh, whereas on this thing, you can see I've got a pulley puller on it already, but on this thing, there are no holes in the power steering pump and it's next to impossible to get back to the bolts that are holding it in. So um, back behind the power steering pump, there are three bolts that you can actually get to. They're hard to get to, but you can get to them. They're little 13 millimeter head bolts that hold the pump in place into this bracket here. Um, the problem is once you get those three bolts off, you can get the power steering pump off, but you won't be able to get the bolts out without removing the pulley. They're held captive back there. Another way you can go about this, but it doesn't necessarily solve some of your problems, is that you can actually get the bracket off. Uh, that's held in place by a bolt over here at the reservoir, another bolt at the reservoir, um, a bolt back here behind the pulley, and another bolt right there that's behind the pulley. Those are also held captive, so with the power steering pump in place, you won't be able to actually get those bolts out, but you will be able to get the bracket um, and the power steering assembly off. So. Anyway, though, my turn one pump did not come with new bolts. Uh, furthermore, there's a bracket on the back of the power steering pump that I need to rescue and reuse. So the way I'm going to go about doing this is while it's still on the engine, just to make easier work of it, I'm going to use my power steering pulley puller, uh, which I had to modify a little bit. I just basically just grind down the ends to get it so that I can fit it in right there. But uh, I'll use that guy to get this pulley off, hopefully keep it intact so that it's still usable as a spare. Of course, if not, uh, I may not care anyway because I really hate this pulley, keeping those things captive behind there. So anyway, I'll get that out, um, start to separate this pulley assembly, and then I'm going to go ahead and get everything over on the new motor. Well, sometimes things don't go as planned, and this is definitely one of those times. So if you look on here kind of closely, you can see that... Um, the little lip that the power steering puller goes into actually just went ahead and broke off. It broke off flush with the with the um, the metal shaft, I guess, that it holds onto. So uh, this thing's not going to come off with the power steering puller. Uh, so instead, I'm going to shift gears a bit and I'm going to move to um, just using a traditional gear puller. I'm going to put it all on the pulley there uh, around the outside, which is definitely going to destroy the pulley, um, but it'll at least get it off. Uh, likely what'll end up happening, and I think this is plastic out here, so this will end up cracking, um, and it'll probably leave the center core on here, and then if I wanna save the pump for any reason, I'll have to just figure out how to press that center core off. Um, but uh, but right now, that thing is just not, not good for anything. So I'll destroy this guy, get it out of there, at least I can get my bolts and my bracket so I can get the new power steering pump on the on the engine. Well, sure enough, that made really quick work of the um, of the pulley, and it is plastic. You can kind of see how it's molded onto the splines here um, for this little metal piece that push on to the to the shaft itself. So there's just no way uh, for me to get to it. So anyway, the gear puller just it cracked it in a couple of cranks, um, and uh, it, it just came right apart. But it gives me enough access here where I can get to the four bolts that hold the power steering pump in place along with the, um, the bracket that I need right there. So if I rotate that around, yep, there's my fourth one on the bottom. So I'll get that guy out of there, get the turn one pump uh, back on the engine, and I'll be good to go. All right, over here on the fresh motor, I've got the power steering pump and pulley in place. Uh, you can see through the openings in the pulley itself that you've got really easy access to all the bolts. So um, that went on really quick. I just put a little dab of blue Loctite on there to keep those guys from backing out and then torqued everything down. Uh, next up will be, of course, to get the reservoir on here, uh, run my line from the reservoir up top. And then uh, actually down here, I am going to put in a new high pressure line um, just to go to the to the power steering pump, I found that after a couple of years of racing, the other, uh, the high pressure line on my black Corvette started to leak. It didn't 
explode or anything like that. It just started to seep. Uh, but, you know, 20 years, it was definitely showing its age. So uh, just as a, a bit of maintenance, I'm going to put a fresh line on there as well before this thing goes back in.